Local matchman John Green hit the headlines recently with a £100 net of skimmers from Stafford Moor. He's gone back to peg nine on Tanners today to show you exactly how to do it. I always use ground bait. I believe if you loose feed, you tend to bring the fish up in the water. My idea is to keep them on the bottom where you can get a, you tend to get a lift bite or a sail away. Uh, which is far more positive than fishing up in the water. We start with six to eight balls cupped in a meter short of where you want to start fish. We always put it in short because we believe, or I believe, the fish, though they come in over it, hang off of it and, um, and feel safer away from the feed. After five to ten minutes, uh, you would normally get some indication that the fish are moving in and then you would start putting in a nugget every fish. I feed a metre short of where I start to fish. Therefore, I'm always put my nuggets and everything in the same place, exactly a metre short of where I'm fishing. Therefore, you can then fish a metre past, a metre to the side, a metre to the right, and at times you can even come a metre inside and still catch. I never ever fish over my ground bait. If I tend to start bumping fish or foul hooking fish in a particular area around the feed, then I will move to another area just to see if they're more settled or happier to take your bait in, in a different area from where you're initially fishing. And as you can see, you can get some half decent skimmers. And these are the fish we were aiming for. The initial feed, the first six balls, I put a whole tin of corn in. Uh, the mix I use is 50-50 be 50% micro pellet dampened down with uh, dry ground bait mixed into it to give you a paste effect. This you, you put in little nuggets like so and it goes straight to the bottom and it stays. Because it's paste it doesn't tend to break up and come up in the water like any other ordinary ground bait. You don't always catch on the sweet corn because uh, you're going to start off on the soft pellet, always start on the soft pellet. The sweet corn gives you a, a change of bait. Right, so if you've got the change of bait, you can switch between the two just to find out which and how that they're, they're wanting it. You don't always catch on the sweet corn. You don't always catch on the pellet. You've just got to look, look around and, and suck it and see on the day and see what, what's going to happen and how they want it. 75% um, of the time, you will always catch on the pellet to start with. Sometimes you can catch on the corn after half an hour or an hour. Sometimes you might not catch on the corn until the last hour. Over the years, the best pellet I've found is the GOT 6mm expander. You've just got to pump them on the bank on that morning and uh, within 20 minutes, they're ready for use. With the uh, got pellet, or the, your, your hook, hook pellet, is simply place the hook straight in the middle of the pellet, push it straight up round to the shank, and therefore hiding the hook completely. And I do exactly the same with the sweet corn. Pick your piece of sweet corn and I go in straight from the top, push it in, and just simply push it straight up round the bend, and it sits on the hook perfect. I use uh, Lidl's. I go into Lidl's and buy it by the case uh, because it's so cheap. £4.68 for a, a case of uh, 12 tins. I don't wash the corn. All I do is drain, drain the, um, the fluid off the corn and, uh, and that's all I do to my corn. I don't do anything else other than drain the fluid off the corn.
hooks, I'm using, I use two different types. I use the Turbatini 808, which is a wide gape hook, and I use the uh, Drennan pellet hook, again, which is a wide gape hook. So these are the hooks I use at this time of the year, are a 14. Moving up from there, I use a two number eight bulk as my tail tails. I know I use two number eights for a simple fact. If you use one number eight or a number 10, with the amount of fish you tend to get in your swim at these venues, is you get a lot of wafting around and the fish lifting it off the bottom and um, you're getting false bites and you're striking at uh, bites that are really non-existent. With the double number eight, you get a very good lift or a very good slide away. Moving on back up from there, I've got the bulk set a foot back from the hook. I keep it close to the hook, a foot from the hook, because fishing for the skimmers, you want to get it down to them and straight down on the bottom. All of this is mounted on, I use Stroff 012 line, and again, I found it to be a very resilient line, and um, don't even get broken up on carp very often on it when you do hit the carp. And then I'm using a Turbatini float, um, with a very long insert. Now that insert takes the two number eights to there. So when you get a lift, you tend to get that. And you really can't miss the bites. On up through to a number eight pure latex um, elastic set fairly soft so you're not bumping out of the uh, skimmers when you're hitting the smaller fish. I set up two identical rigs but one has a longer line therefore I can fish further out if the fish move further away from the feed. Now you've seen all the secrets if you want to bag up on skimmers like me. And now let's go and put them back.